Hope you're all doing well. So we're going to get started lying down today. You can just come to your back body. Let yourself take up some space, feet wide, arms wide, palms up. And just let the body settle in here. Let the toes spill out to the sides. Consciously relax the shoulders down, maybe even lift an arm and reach it forward a little bit. You can do that on the other side too. Just getting a little more space between the shoulders and the ears. I'm gonna keep your body lying down here. Just gonna sit up. If you haven't done so yet, begin to slowly deepen the breath. Letting the inhale build from the belly, through the ribs, up into the chest. And let the exhale spill from the chest, through the ribs, back down to the belly. Each cycle of breath in, you should Feel and even see the body rise up a little bit if you keep the eyes open. And each breath out, the body contracts. You get a little closer to your mat. If it's helpful today, you can place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest, but keep your elbows relaxed on your mat if you're taking that variation. Again, we inhale from belly through ribs to chest. We exhale from chest through ribs to belly. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Now the next time you breathe in, I want you to just count the length of your inhale. Whatever number that is, you're going to add a count of two to it. So if your inhale was six, you're now going to exhale for eight or whatever other variation you've created. And commit to that count for a few rounds of breath. Now lengthening the breath further, add a count of two to both the inhale and exhale. So again, we're stretching that exhale out a bit longer than the breath in. That tells our nervous system we're safe, we can relax. And if you want to deepen this a bit further, you can also employ a kumbhaka. A kumbhaka is simply a breath retention. So at the top of the breath in, you'll hold the breath for a moment or two. You can practice the same thing at the bottom of the breath out. And take a couple rounds here. One final round, I want you to stretch that inhale, make it as slow and as deep as possible for you. 
whatever that number is, you're going to add a count of four, and that will be your exhale. Again, option here to take that breath retention at the top of the breath in, and maybe even at the bottom of the breath out. Taking three rounds of breath with this count. One more round of breath. your next inhale, take a big stretch, extend the arms overhead, maybe point and flex the feet, you can invert the palms here, deep breath in, and then on your exhale, just hug the knees into the chest, maybe rock a little side to side, or you can take some circles here. And while we move today, it's essential that you keep that deep breath going. All these movements, all the poses, they're all secondary to the breath. Because the breath is the key ingredient we need to help build that calm from the inside out. Let's go ahead and hug the right leg into the chest. Extend the left leg straight up to the ceiling. Now, of course, you can bend the knee here, honor whatever you're feeling in the hamstring. Hug the right leg in close, inhale. And on your exhale, very slowly, you're gonna lower that left leg. But as you lower it, I want you to think about stretching it out to the front of your mat. Pull the low belly in. Relax the shoulders down. And then just take a couple breaths here in Pavana Muktasana. Press the thigh down to the mat as you hug the right leg close towards the right side of the ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, let the right knee come forward till it stacks over the hips. Take the left hand outside the knee, find a twist. Let the leg cross over the body. You can either keep your head neutral up towards the ceiling or go ahead and look out towards that right hand. Inhale your way back to center. Exhale, hug the right leg in close. Bend your left leg, round your left foot on your mat. Bring your right elbow inside of your right knee and see if you can find your right ankle for a half happy baby pose. If you can deepen a little bit more, you can clasp your big toe or take the outer edge of the foot. Breathing here in Arda, Ananda Vidalasana. And if you're feeling really open and spacious, go ahead and stretch that left leg out. Deep breath into the hip. Try to draw the shoulders down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and hug the right leg into the chest one more time. Extend the right leg out to meet the left. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hug both knees into the chest. Again, you can rock a little, take some circles, whatever feels right for you here. And then keeping the left leg drawn in, extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Breathing into the back of the leg. Again, bend the knee as much as you need to. Flex the foot. Inhale. 
And on your exhale, lower the leg, but stretching out of the hip. So finding some traction here as you reach the foot forward and lengthen through the right side of the pelvis. Now ground the leg, press the thigh into the mat, hug the left leg into the chest. Melt the shoulders down and take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, let the knee come forward, stack it over the hip. Exhale, find a twist, let the leg cross over the body. Extend the left arm. Either keep your gaze neutral or twist the head in the opposite direction of the leg. Inhale your way back to center. Ground your right foot on your mat. Take your left elbow, thread it inside of your knee. Either grab your ankle, your big toe, or deepest would be outer edge of the foot. Breathing here in your half happy baby pose. Of course, with the option to stretch out the and extend the grounded leg. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale where you are, and on your exhale, we're going to go for a full happy baby pose. So again, clasping the ankles, the big toes, or the outer edges of the feet. Shrug the shoulders down, but also try not to round the low back like this. Press the tailbone down to the mat. Flex the feet. Think about a 90 degree angle at your knee joint. Feels nice to rock a little side to side. You can do that. And take a couple breaths. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and just straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Bring the heels in towards each other and turn the toes out. First position for our ballerinas out there. Take your hands behind your head. Inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees and curl up. Try to tap inside of your knees. Pull the low belly down. Inhale, head down, legs straighten. Again, a little bend is always fine. Exhale, coil up. Good, inhale, legs up, head down. Exhale, rise up, pull the low belly in. Inhale, extend. And on the exhale, curl up. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Maybe this time both shoulder blades get up. Breath out. Three more. This time let's just hold up a little bit. Breathing here, pull the low belly down. One more deep breath in. And then exhale, release the head down, release the feet to the mat. Take your arms wide, walk your feet out as wide as your mat, and just let both knees drop over to one side. You can stay right where you are. You can take that front foot and place it atop of your back thigh. You can also deepen this by stretching the arms overhead. And releasing from here, feet as wide as the mat. Just let the knees spill over to the opposite side. And just let gravity do the work or take the front foot, place it on top of the back thigh. Option to sweep the arms overhead. And releasing from here, hug the knees into the chest. And just begin to rock forward and backward on the spine. Keep your chin tucked. The next time you rock up, see if you can catch Navasana. So your Navasana can be a little more supported, holding onto the thighs or keeping the toes a little lower. You might take the feet up in line with the knees or you can even straighten out the legs here. Take a deep breath in and then just cross your ankles. Take a seat. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Good, on your exhale, you're going to twist to the right. So the right hand comes behind you and the left hand finds the right knee. Now go ahead and get a good grip holding onto the knee. Take your back hand, your right hand, inhale, stretch it up. 
And on your exhale, I want you to lean your shoulder towards that left thigh and reach the arm overhead. You should feel this a little bit through that left shoulder blade and definitely along that right side body. Breathing into that, relax the head down. Good, inhale brings you all the way up and you're gonna twist the other way. Good, so just enjoying your twist for a breath for a moment. And then grab a hold of the knee with the right hand. The back left hand is gonna reach up and on your exhale, you're gonna arc towards the right knee. Relax the head down. Good, let's inhale to rise up and come onto hands and knees on the mat. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll get a little more movement going. So on the inhale, we're gonna tuck the toes, drop the belly, look forward, coming into cow pose. But on the exhale, we're gonna push back to down dog, but keeping a really big bend in the knees. So just work to elongate the spine. Inhale, knees down, lift the heart, draw the shoulders back, keep the toes tucked. Exhale, down dog. Flow through this a few more times. You can move this a little bit quicker can take it a little bit slower, but try to really feel the breath initiate and follow you through the movement. As I said earlier, the poses are really subsidiary to the breath here. Think of your yoga practice as a breathing practice that just happens to have these postures sprinkled in. You can take every pose, you can take none of the poses and just lie down and breathe the whole time. And both of those would be celebrated as a beautiful practice. In fact, lying down and just breathing is probably the more masterful one of the two. Inhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes, come on back, child's pose. Just staying in your child's pose here for a couple breaths. So in this practice, we often think that the fancy poses, the handstands, the arm balances, that's where we want to drive our direction in in the practice, but really the poses don't matter. Nobody cares if you can do a fancy pose. This practice is about connecting and connecting to your breath is the quickest a most powerful way to just regulate how you feel. And when we feel better inside, we show up better outside. We all know that. So let's take a couple more moments to just breathe. Hips back on heels. You might begin to elongate this, stretching the fingertips out. On your next inhale, we're gonna come all the way up to plank pose. So your plank pose could look like this with the support of the knees. Just be mindful not to sag the hips down, keep the core firm, or you can take your full plank. Taking a couple moments to breathe here. Try to round a little bit by the shoulder blades so the chest muscles are working. Get the whole hand on the mat. That's hasta bandha is your hand grip or seal. The palm of the hand, the knuckle line, even the fingertips are pushing down. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, push back to down dog. Now going ahead and straightening the legs, maybe pedal them out. Letting the head hang or circling it. Finding your breath here. Inhale. And on your exhale, just go ahead and walk into your forward fold, bending the knees as much as you need to there. Let yourself hang. If the hands are comfortably on the ground, just flip the palms or you can go for the elbows. And then sway a little side to side. And shake the head yes and no. Open the jaw wide, shift it side to side. Get into your facial muscles a bit. Maybe some shoulder rolls, whatever feels good to just loosen up here. 
On your next inhale, stand tall, reach the arms up to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. And on the exhale, let's just bring the hands to Anjali Mudra and take a moment here to set an intention. Already feeling the energy of your practice and taking the time to recognize the self-care. Yoga is a selfish act that leads to selflessness. So we take out this little bit of time for ourselves. We're setting up our energy and our experience to help others so much more. So take a moment and set an intention for you, for someone else. Repeat that in the mind. Take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale, rise up. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to your flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step to plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest. Root the pubic bone, untuck the toes. Take the feet a little wider, take the hands a little wider, maybe even fingertips. Inhale, rise up for cobra. Exhale, come on down. With the hands wide, just flip the palms down. Inhale, rise up, shalambhasana, but keep it wide. Palms down, chin down, legs wide but lifted. Exhale, come on down. Pop back up to your fingertips. Keep the legs grounded. Inhale to cobra, bhujangasana. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, rise up. Shalambhasana, locust pose. Feel the whole back seam of the body engaging here, but really relax the back of the neck. Let the head hang. Lower back down. One more round of that. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, Shalambhasana, staying for a couple breaths. Soften through the jaw, spread the fingers, draw the shoulders down and squeeze the scapula together. Exhale, come on down. Bring the feet back in, ground into the palms. Push right to down dog, or you can come to hands and knees, and then extend back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Now you can do this series from down dog and plank like this. Exhale, knee to nose. Or you can lower that opposite leg and still feel the same experience. Inhale, extend. Exhale to the left elbow. One more round of that. Inhale, stretch the leg. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale to the left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step it through. So stacking the knee over the ankle as we rise up, let's just bring our hands to the thigh, relax the shoulders down, breathing into the front of the hip. Feel the breath. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, you're going to bend your left elbow, bring your right hand to your left elbow, and just try to guide it to the midline of your body, stretching through that tricep. Now the arm wants to dominate the head here, so push the skull back into the arm. Pull the low belly in. If you want to go even further, you can bow towards the leg. Good. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch both arms up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Bring the right hand inside of the right foot, swing it back to hands and knees, tuck the toes, and find down dog. So again, we can do this core plank series from down dog, or go ahead and lower to hands and knees. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, try to get it up high. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. And exhale to the right. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, step it through. Lower the right knee and just bring your hands to your thigh. Feel the breath. 
Notice how the heart rate has lifted a bit and see if you can use the breath to slow it back down. And then inhale, arms reach up. And bending the right elbow, left hand finds the elbow. Stage one, you're just gonna draw your elbow more towards the midline of the body. Can stay right here, just working on pressing the skull back, keeping the spine nice and tall. Or to deepen bow to the left. And one more big breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Let's step to plank pose. Inhaling here. On your exhale, either lower the right knee for some more support or roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Extend the left arm up, Vashistasana, side plank. And we're going to take some really big circles with that lifted arm. Just getting that full range of motion here through the shoulder. And you can kind of watch the hand that will also get the neck involved. And then go ahead and return to plank pose, inhale. Taking your vinyasa on your exhale, that could be knees and chest or chaturanga. Your inhale could be cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Coming back to plank, inhale. Lower the left knee or feel free to spin to the outer edge of the left foot. Drop the right heel, extend the right arm up. Vashistasana. And then just really big circles with that lifted arm. And bring it back to plank, inhale. Push back down dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in. Walk your hands back to your feet. So you're going to be at the back of your mat. Just fold forward here. Take a couple more breaths. Maybe remind yourself of that intention you set. We'll all honor that collective intention of just really taking this time to nurture ourselves. So we can step out and support all the other people we care about. Inhale, rise up, stretch the arms up. Good, on your exhale, you're gonna step your right foot to the center of your mat. And then your choice here, you can bring the hands behind you, holding opposite elbows or forearms, or interlace the hands, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lift the chest. And on your exhale, you're gonna fold forward. If you're feeling a bit wobbly, just heel toe that right foot to the right. Take more width between the legs. Left heel is grounded. And you should definitely feel stretchier through that right leg. So honor what you're feeling. Bend your knee a little if you need. Take one more deep breath in here. Exhale, bend through the front knee. Reach the arms up for this little mini warrior one, Virapadrasana one. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the palms to press in front of the heart, lean into the right foot, spin off the back heel, and it's a combination of pushing into the right foot, but also springing off those back toes, warrior three. Now, warrior three can mean that your foot is two inches off your mat, or you might bring it all the way up to hip height. Feel the engagement of that left glute and push that left heel up higher. Look down, soften through the jaw. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, come to chair pose. So legs and feet together, bend the knees, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Bring the palms to press in front of the heart, inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to take a twist. So option one would be left hand outside the right knee, right hand on the hip. Or you can take a prayer twist, bringing your left elbow outside the right knee, getting a little lower, and press the palms together. Now check out that left knee. It just reached forward. Go ahead and slide it back. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
Stand up tall, exhale, step the left foot to the, all the way to the front of the mat. If you need to, you can scooch that right foot back a little bit. Hands behind you, you can go for opposite forearms, opposite elbows, or interlace the hands, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Take a deep breath in, relax the head down. And on your exhale, bend through the left knee. Whoop, fall forward. <laughs> Inhale, reach your arms up. Good, on your exhale, bring your palms to press in front of your chest. Spin off the back heel, and then go ahead and spill the weight into that front foot. Lift the right leg up. Look down. And find the breath. Again, it doesn't matter how high you lift that right leg. Just try to feel the engagement in the back of the leg. Maybe drop that right hip down a little bit. Keep stamping through that left big toe. And then feet come together. Bend the knees. Lower the weight into the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take your twist. Right hand can come to the outside of the knee. Left hand to the hip. Or bend the knees a little bit more and go for that prayer twist. Check out the knees, try to line them up, drawing that right knee back. One more cycle of breath. Fold forward, relax the head and arms. Bend the knees one at a time. Take the feet a little wider. Make a fist with your hand, but thumb not in front of your fingers alongside, and just begin to tap the outsides of the legs. Get your glute, your lower back. And then tap the insides of your legs. Rising up a little bit. Tap your quads. Get your hamstrings. I know this is a weird one, this helps to get the blood flow throughout the body. It feels really good, especially if you have some outer hip pain. And then just pause. Close your eyes, relax your arms, or turn your palms forward. And notice what you feel. Can you use your breath to manage what you feel? Peeking the eyes open, bring your gaze to one point, feet are hips width distance. Bring the weight into the right foot, pop up to the left big toe, and then turn the left knee out to the left. Go ahead and bring your foot either to your inner ankle, inner calf, or above the knee to the inner thigh, coming into Vrikshasana, tree pose. Take a couple moments to breathe here. Feel free to play with any options with the arms. You can extend them up, take them wide. And now we're gonna bend our standing leg, our right leg, very slowly. You're gonna extend that left leg back and come into warrior two. So the right toes face the front of the mat and the right heel is lining up to the arch of the back foot. Arms are nice and long. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. On the inhale, let's lean forward, reach out. Exhale, bring the right forearm to the thigh, but push down into the forearm. Keep that left arm reaching back and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Breathe into your neck here. And then go ahead and lift the head. Extend the left arm overhead here. Energize through the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. Spin the back heel up. Sneak the right hand behind the back and drop your left ear down. Now draw the right shoulder up towards the ceiling and bring that left shoulder blade back to your spine.
Good. From here, we're going to come right back to that side plank, Rikshasana. So for the most support, you're going to lower your left knee down, or you can go ahead and come right back to your side plank. Again, we can be right here, or left knee is grounded. See if you can keep the right hand behind the back. Draw the right shoulder back, and one more time, drop the left ear down. Take a round of breath. Find plank pose. Your choice, take a vinyasa, take a child's pose, maybe take a down dog. Relax the heels down, spread the fingers wide, inhale. Hop or walk to the front of your mat, exhale. Inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, hands to the chest. So find your drishti, that one point to settle your eyes. Pop up to the right big toe, turn the right knee out to the right. Feel the weight distributed in that left leg and then the right foot can find the left inner ankle, left calf, or come up to the inner thigh. Notice the wobbling and try to use that as a means to build strength. Keep rooting down to your standing leg. If you want to test your balance, you can lift your arms with palms pressing or wide. Keep pulling the low belly in. Inhale. Nice and slow on the exhale. We're going to step back to warrior two, opening up the hips. Align the front heel to the arch of the back foot. Extend the arms. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, left forearm to the thigh. Right arm is going to continue reaching back. You're going to relax that left ear down. Try to align the front knee over the ankle and keep pushing into the forearm so the shoulder is moving out of the ear. Extend the arm overhead. Big breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale, right hand comes to the mat, right heel spins up. Walk your left foot to the edge of your mat. Wrap the left hand behind the back for your twist. Drop the left ear to the, the right ear to the right shoulder and breathe. Now from here, side plank. Right knee can lower down and you're gonna step that left foot back. Or you can test your balance and see if you can come right to Vashistasana. Keep the hand behind the back. Relax the head once more. Take a deep breath in. Exhale your way through a vinyasa to down dog, maybe to child's pose. your next exhale, lower the knees, bring the hips to the heels, and just rest. Let's rise up. Have a seat on your tush, extend your legs out. Good. Bend your left leg, cross it over your right. Right leg can stay extended or bring the foot in just outside the hip. Take a deep breath in, sit up tall. On your exhale, right hand comes behind you and you're either gonna hug or hook that left elbow coming into a twist. One more deep breath in and out. Good, from here taking an open twist. So just twist the other way, don't change up the legs. One big breath in and out. Good, and unwind from here. 
Extend the legs out and then bend the right knee, cross it over the left leg, keep the left leg extended or curl it in. Right hand behind you. Inhale, nope, just kidding, switch sides. <laughs> left hand behind you, left leg should be on top. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, hug or hook your elbow, taking your twist. Deep breath in. Now we'll go to our open twist. Opposite side, legs stay where they are. And go ahead and unwind. Let's extend the legs out. Coming into Paschimottanasana, you can always bend your knees a little bit here, even if you have a pillow or even a sweatshirt, you wanna put it under the legs if the hamstrings are pretty tight, that should help. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lengthen forward. Really try to stretch out and then let the hands land on the mat. Even if you can grab a hold of your feet, I want you to just fingertips to the mat nice and wide. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, crawl the fingertips forward. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, crawl it out. One more time, deep breath in, maybe back off a little bit, draw the shoulders back. And then exhale, folding forward, relax the head. And now if you wanna clasp the feet or use a strap here, feel free. On your next inhale, rise back up. On the exhale, we're gonna slide forward a little bit, bending the knees, hands behind you, fingers face away. Walk the feet forward so you can bring your right ankle on your left thigh. And if you don't feel a stretch there, you're gonna scooch that left foot in and really push into the hands. Flex the right foot, inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna let the legs in this alignment drop over to the left. Take a deep breath in, and then go ahead and bring the legs back up. Stretch the right leg out, stretch the left leg out, inhale, reach the arms up, sit up tall. Exhale, hands back behind you, bend the knees, ground the feet, and then left ankle, right thigh. Again, to deepen the stretch, you're just going to bring the foot closer and really try to rise up to your fingertips here, lifting the chest closer towards that front shin. Stay where you are, see how it feels to just drop the legs over to the right. Bring the legs back up, extend that left leg out, extend the right leg out, inhale, reach the arms up. This time on your exhale, contract the abdominals nice and slow, lower down to your mat. Reach the arms overhead, big breath in. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Lower the feet to the mat, knees bent, feet grounded. We're gonna take two rounds of back bends here. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, push the low back into the mat so you feel the lower abdominals firm up, and then press the hips up to the sky. So option one would just be palm up, that'll keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Option two would be to interlace the hands and roll the shoulders under the torso. Ground into the feet, lift up the toes. And try to get the breath all the way up into the chest. Three more breaths. Staying where you are, I want you to just relax your glutes so you might drop down a little bit. Now engage the glutes, press up higher. One more breath in. Release the hands if they're bound. Exhale, lower slowly, upper back, middle back. Lower back is last to greet the mat. And then just walk the feet the width of the mat. Let the knees drop in. Close the eyes. And see if you can recall that final breath count from the start of this practice. If you remember it, you're gonna to return to that. If you can't, let's do an inhale for six. 
and then exhale for 10. Three breaths like that. We're going to take one more round of breath here. If you'd like to, you can switch the curve of the hips, bringing the soles of the feet together and letting the knees splay out. One more round of breath. Use the hands to press the legs back together, grounding the feet. One more time, we'll take bridge pose. Hands alongside you, palms up. Take a breath in, exhale, just a pelvic tilt, engaging the lower abdomen and then press the hips up. Let's all just keep the palms up, arms nice and relaxed. Option to cactus the arms, softening them even more. And don't feel like you have to go up to your highest point here. And reconnect with the breath. One more cycle in and out. And then lowering nice and slow, pull the belly in as you lower down. Bring your right ankle to your left thigh, flex the foot, draw the legs in. You can clasp under the left thigh, over the shin. If you want to get back into the hamstrings, you can extend the leg, whatever works for you. One more deep breath in, maybe drawing the legs a little closer. And then keep your legs in this alignment. Take your arms, palm up, high to the shoulders. Twist over to the left. So you're going to feel that right foot plant down and try to bring your right foot as close as you can towards your left arm. You can stay right here. Or you can extend the left leg. Some of you might even be able to grab a hold of that left foot here. Take a couple breaths. Unwind. Come on back to center. Ground the feet on the mat. Left ankle to the right thigh. Draw the legs in. Clasping under the thigh, over the shin, or feel free to extend the leg. Try to soften your shoulders down to your mat. Unclench the jaw. Deep breath in. Soft and slow breath out. Keep the legs in this alignment, but Arms out wide, palms up, twist to the right, left foot plants down to the floor, right leg relaxes, and linger here, you can extend the leg. Maybe even grabbing some part of that right leg with your right hand. Unwind, return to your back body, soles of the feet together, knees splay out, inhale for six, exhale for ten. And then go ahead and 
Extend the legs out, finding your Shavasana. Feet as wide as the mat. Arms can stay wide like this. You can slide them down a little bit. Take those little adjustments, finding your comfortable position here and toes spill out to the sides. Palms turn up and the eyes close. Just allow yourself to do what yoga is. The word yoga means to yoke, to unite, or to connect. During this practice, you connect it to your breath, to your body, to those thoughts fluttering through your mind. And here in this stillness, perhaps you connect to something deeper than the flesh and bones of your body and the thoughts in your mind. Whether you call it your spirit, your soul, your center, or just that best part of yourself that's always calm, knows the next steps, the right things to say. It's here in this quiet that that space begins to illuminate a bit. Give yourself that opportunity as we rest for a couple minutes. And by all means, if you have the time to stay here and rest, give yourself that gift. Otherwise, begin to take some movement, circling the wrists, the ankles, letting the head drift side to side. Inhale your way into a stretch, and then just go ahead and curl up on your side, resting your head on your bottom arm. And rise up to sit. With eyes closed, just join the hands in front of the heart. Recall that intention you set. Remind yourself that it's important to take this time for you. It nourishes you. 
it sets you up to help all those you love. Bowing chin to chest, wishing you all health, happiness, and a beautiful day. Namaste.